Hi Angels, welcome back. Today we are reacting to 7-Eleven Thailand. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing this is commercial. Uh, and the title is From the Heart. It is an 11 minute video. Mm. So I'm guessing it's gonna have a, quite a story. Uh, but it does has a closed caption, so that definitely helps. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a go, and uh, hopefully this is not gonna be a heartbreaking something. I don't know, it says from the heart, so I'm assuming that it's going to be really <laughs> sad. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and do this. Based on a true story. Yes, yeah. it's gonna be sad. <laughs> ไม่รู้เวรกรรมอะไรฝากด้วยนะคะครูเช้าสวัสดีครูสิเช้าไปเรียนกันนะวันนี้เรามีเครื่องใหม่มาแนะนํานะเพื่อนของเราชื่ออ
And she pretty oh. much dropped everything to come to him. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. He calculated it in his head when it would start. And that's the thing, children with Savant, autism. Savant you syndrome. Know, yeah. They are more like kind of like a genius yes. towards yeah. something else. Yeah. Oh, I just want to smack those kids. Oh! child is like full on in the mode. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh, that makes me so angry. Yeah. Maybe if you teach your kids to stop being bratty little shits, then maybe it wouldn't... I mean, that's the... Th oh, 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 my God. God. สองตุลาสองพันห้าร้อยสี่สิบสองเป็นวันอะไรสุขแปดธันวาสองพันห้าร้อยสี่สิบสองเป็นวันอะไรพุทธสิบเจ็ดมกราสองพันห้าร้อ
He's learning things. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, when it comes to, um, I mean, there are children who, you know, have disabilities mm -hmm. and stuff like that, you know, and it's, and nobody really knows anything unless you first of all either personally have somebody in your family mm -hmm. or you have a friend who dealing with something like that. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you, if you just look at the person and they're, even though like they appear physically okay, normal, yeah. so you, if they do something different, you just kind of call them names mm -hmm. you know it's like well you look normal so why do you act, you act like, like that? that you know yeah. that's one thing i i don't like when people do it's like you do not know what that what what there, there, there there's more to, to it. it yeah and that's like, the thing you know and then like not teaching your kids and that's the thing like you know most of the time you see parents telling the kids like well don't do this don't call people this don't point yeah. don't be rude don't be yeah. and what about those other ones that are being bullies and calling people kids names mm -hmm. how are they being raised is what yeah. i'm curious yeah, about that's to me that's a really hot hot topic just because like i i mean i am a mom and i tell my daughter like if you if you i don't even know how to describe it you, you can't treat people awfully just because they're different and just because they don't act like you or they don't look like you or they don't think the same things as you does not make them a bad person and for like that's the bullying anytime i see bullying and videos and stuff like that i get really hot under the collar because if people would just take the time to tell their children you know how to be good people just talk to your kids instill in them some morals and we wouldn't have instances like this yeah. and i i just i can't stand it when people because that's your responsibility as a parent to raise your child to be a good person no. and when you and, know and, and you know, it's like it's understanding whenever a child grows up let's say i'm talking about growing into like late teens or like like you know mm -hmm. the pre-teens mm -hmm. going into teens type of thing they are they get in a crowd of different people, people they, they start, start to like follow things. them or yeah. like be them to be accepted by them yeah. type of thing but then whenever the children are still young they should know what right, right is wrong right. yeah you know well and see that's the thing it's like i really hate it when people say oh well kids will be kids no that's not how it works no it so be. sorry the kids, kids act like that they're are, gonna grow up that yeah way. children are blank slates and they adopt what they see so if you are treating your child with negative n like negative words and they they don't learn that just inherently they learn it from you as a parent and so they learn how to treat other people based on what they see you treating those people as you yeah. know and that's where a lot of 
kids that end up being bullies in school are bullies because they have been bullied by their own parents. And that is just, oh, it just, oh, it burns me up. Sorry, I'm getting real upset over here about like, this. I, I, um, yeah, I'm, yeah. I, I definitely love uh, the message of the video of um, the teachers. Teachers Teacher, are definitely, yeah. like, I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, there are teachers who are just there to teach and go, go. and stuff. But there yeah. are some teachers who are there. They take their job to the extreme. Like, yeah, they, there they are some teachers are their job. who uh, teach a class who don't have any kind of uh, disability or any kind of needs, mm -hmm. you know. And then there's those other ones who do just take care of children with special needs. Yeah, I'm sorry, but those people deserve everything in the world. Yeah, in oh, my yeah. opinion, they, you know, I think they, as much as they put the the patience into mm -hmm. it, because every child is completely different and everybody needs a completely different action for mm -hmm. them yeah so they adapt themselves for each individual child the way they need to, to learn, learn things yes yeah, you know and it it takes i like i what a heart yeah you i know? mean seriously yeah. uh people we need definitely more people like that whether it's for somebody who has special needs whether it's a people like that for taking care of an elderly yeah. you know like we need people like that with patience with heart you know being kind and just just understanding and try to learn from mm -hmm. what they have to do on a daily basis yeah. you know and this teacher definitely deserves everything mm -hmm. to be able to figure out what it is is happening mm -hmm. you know that the child had autism and able to because for a child, child with autism it is very hard to give eye contact that is the number one thing mm -hmm. that kind of points you out mm -hmm. to show they do not give an eye contact so for her to be creative like that to mm -hmm. try to get his eyes to lock with hers mm -hmm. i thought that was absolutely that great. is amazing right yeah you know and these this kind of topics kind of get me all worked up and I yeah. also just I can't deal with that yeah I know <laughs> I yeah. can't do it I mean as a parents we are self trying to teach our children what's right and wrong and the path that they need to take when it comes to be a good person mm -hmm. you know caring for others respectful and not to be a bully because yeah. bully nowadays is getting to be out of hand. And it's out of control. It definitely is and it feels like I don't know where they're going with this if they're gonna be like penalty to kids. Yeah. Whether of it doesn't wouldn't even matter of the age, I don't know. But and like you know Alicia said, we are the parents, it is our responsibility to show you know, to put our kids in the right path. Yeah. And some people fail at that and some people do a really good job and I'm sure like I'm not trying to down everybody like everybody makes mistakes I am NOT a perfect parent there's mm. things that I see in my daughter that I wish that I could go back and change because I I must have done something <laughs> at some point that was wrong and maybe we'll like, let her watch I, TV too yeah much. like I let her watch TV too much or I, I have said words in front of her that I shouldn't have said you know and there are things that you know that you do as a parent that you do screw up and you do make mistakes and then your kid learns that mm. but it is it's your responsibility as a parent to recognize those mistakes and then try and rectify it yeah. and you know it takes it takes so much to build a child up like your child will hear it takes more positive reinforcement I think I can't remember I was reading a study about it online I can't remember what it was but it takes like four positive interactions to negate one negative interaction that's true so uh, yeah. you know or something like that yeah. so it you would it essentially takes... take four times of you interacting interacting positively with your kid to make up for when you One. called your child a brat or you called your child a idiot or something like that to their face and yeah, it feels so like it's definitely to screw things up it takes five seconds, seconds. where it'll take like several hours to, to fix, fix it, it. Yeah. yeah and so i think everybody as parents we just need to be more mindful of the things that we say and do in front of our kids and also, when we do recognize those negative behaviors coming out, rectifying it as quickly as possible. Because, 
And I'm not trying to say that the parents of all kids who get bullied or, or who are bullies are failing as parents, but I have met in my life several parents who don't try to rectify those behaviors in their kids. And that to me is just saying that you don't care about your kid. And that, and you know, I have met people like that in my life that they're just like, oh, well, I don't really care. The other kid needs to learn how to stand up for themselves. That, that, that will wow. burn me up faster than anything. Wow. Like you, no, that's not how, that's not how you're supposed to raise your kid. It's I'm like, sorry. it's like you want your kid to do whatever and be a bully. So, yeah. So because your child is having a negative effect on everybody, you want everybody else to kind yeah, of do the I same? Have, I have literally had somebody look at me and say, well, the other kid needs to learn how to stand up for himself. Wow. Yeah. I personally uh, do not have anybody that I know. Uh, everybody that I know who has kids that are my friends, I think the children are growing up absolutely wonderfully. No, oh, thank they, you. You know, <laughs> I think I, I, the only thing I see even in my own kids as in everybody else when the children are young they get to be spoiled and mm -hmm. stuff but that's you know that is just something it's not just as the parents there's the grandparents mm -hmm. the aunt and the uncles and everything else so you trying to fix that a little bit i think but you know a little bit of a spoil depends what it is, it is. isn't yeah. really a bad thing yeah. but i think like as as all my friends with children that's the only thing i see i'm like yep yeah. your mommy spoiled you yeah you know? oh, yeah <laughs> i mean you can tell with mine like I, I have spoiled my child but my child like i don't know you know i try not to be judgmental of other people's parenting yeah. styles and I try to be, you know, because I wouldn't want somebody judging me for the things that I have chosen to do with my kid. Yeah. But at the same time, like, I do feel really strongly about some things. And I just really think that if your child is bullying another child, you need to take steps to rectify that. No matter what it and, is, I think a bully is never a good thing. Mm -hmm. No matter what it is, how you look yeah. at it. So that that part of raising a kid or growing up or whatever it is, you definitely have to kind of take care of that one right yeah. away because it does get out of hand. I mean, in the U.S. we had a cases where kids would commit suicide mm -hmm. because of the bullying. In my opinion, that is just way too yeah. out of hand. That is like, that. that that's the, the, the last part. Somebody dying right. over it. Yeah, like you hurt someone so badly with your words that they killed themselves because of that. Yeah. And I... I personally would never be able to live with myself if some if somebody died because of me like in that way and so I just can't you know I can't I, I can't imagine yeah we can't I'm I, I don't I don't know I don't know like no matter what we are not perfect parents and no like yeah. no matter what we say our children are still young our children are still growing we do not know where life is gonna take them we only able to point them towards the direction you know, and yeah, no matter what, hoping is the right way. <laughs> and sooner or later, no matter what, they are gonna encounter people in their life mm -hmm. uh, that either gonna change their mind or it's gonna it's gonna maybe make them stronger. All right, so we're gonna pretty much end on this. I'm sure we have like all of you and all of us. We have more to say about it, but we're just gonna keep it at this. Yeah, you know, each of we're us. We're getting too heated. Over yeah, here. we each of us has a, a different things we all dealing with, and uh, everybody can relate on a different level. So thank you, angels, so much for this very touching suggestion. If you have any more, please leave them in the comments below. I than not double subscribe to your channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell, so you guys know every time something comes out. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.